Hey guys, Noah Madar here. Again, you're investing the traders. Uh, my channel, me and Or, our channel. We talk about the stock market, about how you can make money from the stock market, uh, doing the right analysis, the right technical analysis. Don't do a mistake of, of others. If you like our channel, please subscribe, comment, give us like. Uh, before we start, I hope you like our, our other videos. Please to show, uh, to show how you feel about us. Please give us like, comment, it's really help us to grow our channel and make us better and make some new videos for you. Uh, if you have any other question, you can email us uh, down here. Uh, you have the address, you can email us as question. We'll make videos regarding your question. We promise to answer every, every question that we are getting. We'll make video regarding it. So feel free to send us a message, ask us a question, we promise to answer. And don't forget to subscribe, it's the most important uh, uh, thing for us. So today, what are we gonna talk about? We're going to talk about five beginner's mistakes. By the way, I will tell you a secret, it's not only beginner's mistakes, it's happened also to, uh, to long time investors in the stock market, they have a lot of experience, still they, they do these mistakes, they have their sins uh, of this list, which I'll elaborate uh, in a few seconds. Uh, so don't feel bad about if you already had these things happen, you already did these mix mistakes and you told yourself oh, I'm not going to do it again and it happened again, it probably will happen again. But always you need to remember it's a mistake, you need to learn, you need to focus, you need to be, uh, to be strained and to understand what you're, what you're doing. All right? You can't go over and over and over and over and learn and learn and learn and then go back and do these mistakes again. Okay, so we're here to learn and to get better and to, to uh, get better together. All right, so let's start. And again, if you like our channel, please subscribe, comment, like. It's really helpful for us, for me and, or, and to all the channel. So let's start. First beginner mistakes, stay with a losing company. The, the biggest mistakes and the one that we see all the time and most of the time, and you probably, when you're now watching this video, if you already holding a stock probably happened to you or maybe you're in this kind of position holding uh, a losing company what are what I'm talking about let's say you bought Tesla you bought Tesla a month ago all right uh, and you thought oh my god Tesla is a buy uh, it's it already uh, got down 40% uh, for from its max price and now it looks like it's time to buy and then it's get down another 10% from that point and you still haven't sell it, sell it because haven't sold it because you believe yeah it's gonna get back in this day it's gonna be uh, tomorrow no it's it's not a good it's not a good way to think about a stock if you see in the chart that the company is on its way down first you don't need to buy to buy the the stock we'll get there it's all it's also here but if you already did this mistake because you thought it's the right time and then you see you saw that you're just losing two percent or three percent or five percent in one day just throw it away uh, agree to the loss and go and continue to the next uh this next stock next company the 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 reason i gave uh tesla as example not only because she it already got down 50 percent for its top and 10 percent in this month uh but also because com this kind of company is a losing company, company that don't have any revenues and also have a negative cash flow. So the only reason you bought it is because you think by the look in the chart the price is that the price is cheap, but it's not. It's not. It doesn't really have any price uh, by valuation. Okay. So in this kind, of, uh, I'm not talking only about Tesla. As I always say, if you are got into a position and you don't see any reason why the company will go back and don't see any financial reason and you're already in a loss of 10%, just throw it. Don't wait for being uh, in 10% loss. Throw it after two, three, 3%. Watch our video regarding when to buy, all right? If you buy by our rules, it, you won't get to this point. But if it happened and you got to this point, remember, don't stay with a losing stock. Next thing. Next thing, falling in love in a stock happened to me when I just started, when I just uh, started to trade in the Israeli stock market. Actually, it happened to me with a car company. 
uh, one day it, it hit, it, this company had a great report and uh, the stock uh, rise 30, 35% in one day. And I said, oh my God, I did so much money regarding this stock. I old, I had like $10,000 in this stock in, in a second become $13,000. I was high, I, I fell a lot in the stock. And I didn't sell it for about two years after it. I, sell it, I sold it and bought it again and sold it. I fell in love with the stock. And the thing that happened is that all this 30%, I, I lost all of this 30% and another 10% even after that, all right? Just because I didn't know when to sell or when to say, all right, that is enough with the stock, let's move to another stock. Okay, so don't fall in love. If uh, a stock uh, make you profits, right? Don't even try to, to cut it in the peak. If you see, uh, if you bought a stock as an investor, not as a day trader, I talk as an investor, and you see that this stock already gave you 5%, sell a third of the holding you have, right? Only a third, just to put money in your pocket. It's very important. Don't fall in love, put money in your pocket and then continue. Roll up with, a, with this stock, okay? Always put money in your pockets after you have some profit. All right, so don't fall in love in a stock. It happened all the time, it happened to me. I lost a lot of money to cover. Next one, try to catch a falling knife. Let's go back to Tesla. We can look at the chart of Tesla, all right? Chart of Tesla is looking in the last year, it looked like that, all right? And now it's in this point. By the way, two years ago, it was also in this point. So some of you will think now it's a time to it's time to buy. I still am not recommend of Tesla at all. I think it's a dead end, but whatever you think. So uh, some of the uh, investors that I know, they try to buy here and they try to buy here and they try to buy here and every time they lost money. Why? Because they tried to catch a falling knife. Not only they didn't have a technical point before in the few, in the in past uh, to hold it and say, all right, this is a good point to buy. No, they didn't have this kind of, of points. They just decided to buy because they they thought oh, Tesla got down 15% in the last uh, two months. I'll buy Tesla because it's cool, it's because a lot of people like Elon Musk and like to talk about Elon Musk. Not the right decision. Don't recommend about it. And what they, they did, they tried to buy it again here. And then they tried to buy it, to get, uh, to buy it again here just to to lose their to make to minimize their uh, losses but they got more losses and more losses again don't try to catch a falling knife if you see they got into a technical point like this and then you'll see it gonna rise look at our when to buy video maybe this is the time to buy i don't recommend but definitely not as a falling knife for uh, my four point for mistake buy buy recommend you are talking to a friend that uh, is a bit cocky and he likes to talk about, yeah, how, my, how much money I made from the stock market and told you, yeah, you need to buy this stock. And you talk to, and you talk to yourself, wow, we got make so much money because, uh, from the stock market. You probably know what he's doing. You probably know what he's talking about and I don't know anything. So he'll tell you, yeah, let's go, go buy, uh, I don't know, go buy cannabis stock, yeah? Aurora or buy, uh, Canopy or buy Tilray. By the way, Aurora it's a it's a stock that I that I actually like. Tilray not, but I still I'm not recommending. But Aurora definitely not about Tilray. Mm -hmm. Tilray, but let's say he told you you go you have to buy a Canopy stock. You can buy Tilray, you can buy Aurora. And never mind, you'll make money. Don't do that. You know why? Because you're probably gonna lose your money. This is not the kind of uh, of stocks you want to buy. Not by recommend. You need to check. You need to try to find it. To try to find the right stock, and then you need to decide if you want to buy it or not. Less, but not this. I put it only five, but there are a lot of mistakes. Buy of FOMO. What is FOMO? Fear of missing out. And the cannabis industry, it's uh, the right industry to to see it uh, pretty clear. Because you saw a lot of stock that just rise and rise at ev and every day another 10% and another 15% and another 20% every day and you say, oh my God, I have to be part of this red celebration. And then you decide to buy after the four days that the stock just got rising 10% and 
and then in 20 percent and then in five percent and then you decide to buy here you know what happened it happened all the time just it's it's murphy law when you buy here the next day it will get down 40 percent or it will get down 30 percent and you lost tons of money just because you just buy FOMO. If you want to get into an industry like the cannabis industry and buy a stock by FOMO, try to buy one that still haven't done, got this rally up, right? You buy this one that al already, that only had a 2% rise, then 2% rise, and then you can buy. Because the, the worst thing that will happen, it will get down 5 or 10%. But it will get up, you'll be part of the celebration. But you're not gonna lose. You're not. You wouldn't lost 40 or 50 percent of your money. All right. So again, st don't stay with a losing position, uh, with a losing company. You see, you're losing money, two, three percent. Throw it. Just sell it. Don't fall in love in a stock. You got some profits. Put money in your pockets, and then move on to the next stock. Or put some of your money in the. Put only part of the money in the pockets, and. All, always manage the position. Don't try to catch a falling knife. Very important. See Teva, see Tesla. While it's only go down, it's not the right time. Try to see when it's when it stabilized. Buy by recommend. Don't ever buy by recommend of a friend. Always check the company. Always think about if the industry is okay or if the company is profitable. Don't buy just because someone tell you that's the best way to lose money. And don't buy by FOMO. Don't only look at an industry and see that everyone makes money and you're not. If you missed it, you missed it. Don't try to get it and then you lose it. You lose it. All right? So, five rules, five beginners of mistakes. Don't fall in them. I'm Noah Madar. It was great. Uh, it was a great video. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, rec uh, recommend to your friend. Uh, give us like, comment. Let us know that you saw the video and you like it and you have something to tell us. Send us email. You can join our group for me, of me and Or and join our traders and we'll trade together. Thank you. Bye-bye.